All right, so last night I finished watching Mortal Kombat, and it's tough to go into something like this um, unencumbered by other people's opinions. Like, Mortal Kombat came out, what, a week and a half ago or something, and people were just laying into it. Now, don't get me wrong, I've seen both perspectives. I've seen people who thought this was the worst movie ever, and I've seen other people literally say this is the best movie they've seen in a very long time. Um, which, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I think I gotta go closer to the first group of people, the people who did not appreciate the film. Um, I grew up with Mortal Kombat, right? I'm a 90s kid. I remember playing the first Mortal Kombat when it came out and several iterations after that. I uh, definitely was like first in line for the 1995 film and then even the follow-up sequel Mortal Kombat Annihilation and you know what if for a good for a good bout of nostalgia I'll still go back and watch the 1995 Mortal Kombat and and, and I know people now are like they, they completely shit on it but um, I think I think for the kids who grew up in that era and saw that like it's still it's not a good movie um, but it but it brings those nostalgic feelings up and it just feels good to watch you know what I mean like it's ridiculous but in a weird sense, it's fun, right? Well, this new film, um, it kind of played along the same kind of lines. Uh, the, the biggest problem I probably had with this, uh, well, one of the big problems, and not to say that I absolutely hated it, because I didn't. I've definitely seen worse, and I'll, I'll, I'll give you some examples in a minute, but um, I think the pacing, it, it was way too rushed. Like, it felt from the beginning like, we were just getting to this tournament, and we never even... That's the crazy thing. We never actually got to a tournament. At least in the 95 film, we entered the Mortal Kombat tournament. In this one, it was like... Everyone was breaking all the rules. They were fighting outside of the tournament. It's like, the bad guys are doing it, so we gotta do it too. And take them out first. Like, no one was playing by the rules. And, and I don't know what the, you know... Mortal Kombat verse consequence are for not doing that. But you would think they'd be pretty severe, right? Um... But yeah, no one plays by the rules. There is no tournament. Uh, they end up just fighting in the street, fighting in a trailer, you know, fighting uh, in a frozen MMA gym. Like, it's it's pretty wild. Um, I did enjoy the action. Like, I enjoyed the fight scenes. I really did. And I thought a lot of the effects were cool, especially with Sub-Zero. Um, let's see. I did not really appreciate uh, the main character's power once he develops a power and, and you find out that he's a descendant of scorpion spoiler alert but I, i'm guessing you're probably not watching this even if you're watching this you've either you've either watched the film and want to see what someone else has to say about it or you don't care to have it spoiled so yeah he ends up being the like great 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 grandson of scorpion who comes back from hell and at the end of the film which I don't know. I, I, I kind of wish Scorpion was just a modern-day character like Sub-Zero. I wish that they were both in, in in the same capacity, like they're both alive right now. Um, and I'm sorry for the rain if this is bothering you. It's pouring rain here right now. Uh -huh. But, yeah. Another thing that I did not enjoy about the film was the acting. I didn't think it was great. Like I said, the fight scenes were great. The choreography was cool. The effects were really cool. Um, but the acting, not so much bar one person. One person did a fantastic job in this film, and that is the actor who played Kano. Kano carried this film. Kano made this film. Like, if if it wasn't for Kano, I would completely shit on this film. Um, but I can't do that, because he was very entertaining. Very entertaining. There, there's a scene where he says, like, he says some ridiculous insults, and I love it. And one of the, one, I think one of the things he says is something like, um, you, you could both get on your knees and suck my sack. Like, it was the most outlandish insults this guy had. And um, he really did. He he was the best part of this film, 100%. I saw a friend of mine online saying that um, he carried this film, and that, that's absolutely true. Kano did all the heavy lifting in this thing. Let's see. Um, I, as I said earlier, uh, there are some other movies I've seen in recent years that... I was more disappointed by. And I think part of that is is that I went into Mortal Kombat with low expectations. You know what I mean? I knew it would be cheesy. I knew it would be 
you know, I, and I had a feeling it wouldn't stand up to what I imagine it could be or should be, right? Uh, with, with those nostalgic feelings going in. Uh, so I had very low expectations, and then once people were shitting on it, I had even lower expectations. So I just went in and I tried to enjoy it for what it was, and and for the most part, I did. Like I said, I, I listed the things I don't like about it, but there are much worse films that I've seen. Or not even worse films, but ones that let me down more, because I went in with more expectation. Um, if you saw the M. Night Shyamalan it has a, a trilogy, right? Um, God, it, it's... It, it's really like I don't know it, it just left my mind when I was about to say it um, but his his superhero trilogy if you will right you know what you know what I'm talking about he um that the third installment of that film I had really high hopes for and I thought it was gonna be fantastic and then we got around to it and, and it was not it was a huge letdown for me that's that's one film another one that was a huge uh, letdown that I thought by the the, the concept of it would be really cool is um, Bright, starring Will Smith, the Netflix film. I thought it was going to be cool. It was not cool. I didn't enjoy it at all. So, and, and so I would place those movies below this one, in, in fact, because, like I said, I had more expectations. Maybe that's why. Maybe I, I tempered my expectations, and so Mortal Kombat wasn't the worst film I'd ever seen, or even in recent years, I've definitely seen worse. And I don't usually shit on anything on this channel. I, to be honest, I don't usually, if I don't like something, I usually just don't talk about it. And that probably keeps me from making, you know, a lot of videos. But in fact, I, there are films that I don't like. And, and this one, like I said, I didn't hate it, uh, but it wasn't very good. It really wasn't. And, and I'd love to hear your guys' opinion. Please let me know in the comments below. Um, maybe you loved it. Maybe you loved this Mortal Kombat film and, and, you know, can't wait for a sequel, which they did set up in the end, by the way. Um, but, you know, or, or if you hated it even worse than I did or, or whatever, if you're in the middle, just let me know. And if you like videos like this where I talk about movies, um, pop culture, TV series, comic books, nerd shit, all kinds of stuff, right? I, I post my podcasts on this channel and I try to do it daily. If you're interested in that, please subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe to the channel, or you can go over and favorite or follow the Daily BS Podcast, which is basically an audio version of this. If you subscribe to the channel or favorite or follow the podcast, then I will talk to you again tomorrow.